blessing soul traveler fam and welcome to the priestess prophecies you're joining priestess melissa today we are here to do your weekly reading we're going to get into the goddess isis or aset egyptian oracle cards and see what the cards have in store for us for this week as a collective now these readings are general so do keep that in mind but if the reading resonates do hit the like button and subscribe and thanks to all who have and do continue to all right so we'll get our main energy from there now these cards give us an idea of what every aspect of our life is looking like um, abundance, you know, work and career, love. It's going to give us a little bit of an outlook on everything based on what this card is saying for us. Then we will use our original Rider Waite Tarot deck to get our Celtic Cross spread today and see what's going on with our energy. We'll get some guidance from the Guardian Angel cards. And then, don't forget, at the end, we always do a love card. And today will be from the Romance Angels. All right. So don't forget to check out your elemental readings as well, guys, because within those, I do individual sign readings. You don't want to miss that. I do one every single week for you. All right, let's thank our angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides, our spiritual team, spiritual fam out there, right? All right, thank you for joining the Soul Traveler fam here today with Priestess Melissa. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Blessings to you all. Let us see what is going on for the week ahead, shall we? Okay. So, how are you guys liking your elemental readings? And more importantly, how did you like that new pick reading? Where are you feeling that? Do you like that vibe? Do you have any other suggestions for spreads? Every once in a while, I make up my own, especially with this full moon one coming up, because that's going to be the pink full moon, I believe. And I can uh, look at doing a you know, maybe four or five card spread for that to get an idea of what we're looking at. If you guys would like that, I think at the last full moon, I used the fairy oracle cards and I did a spread like that. So let me know what you think about that. All right. What is going on? Ooh, that one on the floor. Initiation. Interesting. So we are definitely going deep within, but look at that jewel. Look at that light. There is so much wisdom that's coming forth for you through this initiation period. Whatever this is for you, you're moving into a new phase, a new way of doing things. And this is definitely going to serve you well, whatever this is. The number of this card is 31. This is about your heart space. This is about your home. This is all about where, you know, you feel safe, where you feel at home. And this is within yourself, right? And we need to feel safe within ourselves, And we need to sometimes go through these death and rebirth phases so that we can become even greater than what we've been before. All right. So sarcophagus, which is again, the 31 card coming to a four in numerology. So again, four is all about stability, four is all about home, it's all about the heart as well. And this is all about reigniting our spirit today, going into a new phase of our life. The sarcophagus card today says, the sarcophagus in the king's chamber of the Great Pyramid at Giza Plateau was only ever used for spiritual initiations. This is a spiritual initiation for you. This is something that you're up leveling in within yourself, right? A new way of being, a new way of doing things, but you're becoming a more ideal version of yourself, right? One that looks the part and actually feels the part within. And people will see this actually on the outside as well as what I was just receiving about just like when somebody loses weight or something like that you know or some big transformation that's how people are going to see you after about 12 years training and following initiations in the queen's chamber the high priests and priestesses would spend three days laying in here as a final initiation as they traveled down in their soul to the mystical halls of Amenti, 
So you have to go within and you have to deal with whatever shadow aspects. We were just talking about that in a reading with the witches reading. So go back and see that just a couple days ago uh, from whenever I post this reading. But this was all talking about that scrying mirror aspect and looking in that looking glass. This is used with this initiation card still going within and healing. Those that passed would have amazing powers of healing and prophecy. So this is going to propel you into something huge in your life. You're going to become a much different person than you have been in the past. And once again, people will see it. A channeled message from Aset herself. This is a place of alchemy. And you know, as you lay here, that white, light beings enter your body and transform what is heavy and dense into pure white light. So this, you know, pulling back, you may need to literally pull yourself back, take a retreat of some sort, perhaps, or just take a few days back, three days, particularly is what this is talking about, where you don't have contact on social media, you're not in contact with other people. This is strictly you being completely by yourself, all right? With your thoughts and allowing any dark, dense, negative thoughts, I'm getting chills all over, and allowing the white light beings to enter into you, right? With that healing white light to clear out all of that denseness and darkness, the unforgiveness, the suffering of whatever kind is within you, all right? That's what it equates to, suffering. Transformation and change occurs as you experience first bliss, then later, a time of separation, and we know what that separation anxiety feels like, right? And reformation of the physical body occurs. So at first it feels good, right? To get away from all of that craziness and chaos and all. But now we're by ourselves and there is that separation anxiety from what we have known right? Even just all the people around us and social media and all the things that we busy ourselves with. And then it says the physical body then undergoes change, right? Reformation. This is a time of great transformation, the great pyramid of Giza type of transformation, dear priests and priestesses out there who are resonating with this energy. All right. So some 21 days later, 21 days, all right, after this three-day period, the alchemy is complete, but you will always be different now on all levels. Wow. You too are going through a testing time so you may be in this phase, you know what I mean? That separation anxiety phase in a sense within yourself um, because it's that in-between phase where you're not the same person, but you're not that new person yet either, right? It feels uncomfortable. <laughs> it really does. And the birth canal process doesn't feel any less comfortable, let me tell you, for mom or for baby. <laughs> You too are going through a testing time, but know that the challenges are worthwhile and the rewards for your patients will be great. So be willing to go through that period of separating yourself and allowing yourself to discharge from all of those things that you don't need to be connected to and recharge and reboot, right? And be transformed basically be reformed in your body it says so for abundance for this week it says you may need to make some worthwhile financial sacrifices as you make positive changes in your life maybe that three-day retreat is going to put a little bit of a dent in your pocketbook or just getting away for that three days but you need it is what this card is saying for whatever reason it could even be related to your health i was receiving we'll see what that says down here so for love, it says a time of solitude may be needed as you are transforming yourself. And that is necessary if you're making big changes. Many times this is best done alone. All right. So it also says a more spiritually aware partner is coming after this time or your present partner will become more understanding of your path. 
for working career, it says study is indicated here, especially for self-improvement and personal growth, all right? That's what this card is all about, self-improvement, personal growth, and how can we engage in that more effectively and positively, right? What you sacrifice now will pay rewards later, so you may know what that is already, but be willing to put in that sacrifice spirit is saying you will reap the rewards. For travel, it says good to travel for sacred journeys, meditation, retreats, and healing courses. Business travel is quite testing for you, but worthwhile. You may need to call in spirit to go ahead of you and look after your affairs, you know, why wouldn't you do that anyway? But just saying, just to make it a little bit easier, especially if it's, again, business travel. For health, it says dramatic improvements through meditation and self-healing, all right? Because you know exactly what you need to do, what you need to heal within yourself. Now it's just using your willpower to go ahead and do that transformation process, all right? So it says deeper spiritual awareness will finally help you to let go of past heavy baggage. Yeah, that going within will definitely do that for sure. Uh, for ha family, it says a time of separation or separation or simple time out from your family would be beneficial for them and yourself. Because if you're going through a true transformation, you are going to need that time to yourself. And other people may really trigger you and things like that. And until you go through that transformation process completely, you know, you may need to just uh, separate yourself so you don't incidentally cause perhaps things that you need to heal with your family about later, right after you do your healing process. All right, for the future, it says miracles, magic, and enhanced psychic and spiritual awareness is coming your way. Of course it is. As you clear this out, as you're willing to sacrifice and go through whatever you need to for your healing process, right? Of course you're going to be rewarded. Why wouldn't you be? Whenever you uh, cut back on sugar and white flour and, you know, soda and all of those things, don't you lose weight? Same thing is going to happen when you clear out your spiritual body. You're going to gain more of your psychic abilities. How does that sound? I like the sound of that, so I'm going to be aware of that as well. I take these uh, messages seriously myself, all right? Right now, I feel like this is talking a lot about clearing out that heart space because, again, 31 comes to 4. And I feel like, you know, with the message we got yesterday, if you're watching in succession, we got soul and undying love. So, you know, that could be that heavy baggage that you need to heal from that is not allowing you to move forward and have that great initiation or that great ascension, you know, process in your life. As You know, there's many ways that you can use the words to uh, describe it. This could be just, you know, you leveling up. But I feel this is you in your heart having to let go of things and that forgiveness aspect so that you can have all of those things that you want because they're unwittingly holding you back, unfortunately. Because when you forgive them, guess what? It unlocks your blessings. It unlocks everything for you because you're no longer holding negative energy. Spirit doesn't reside in negative energy. Spirit is peace and love, patience, all of those things. When we're resonating that way, then we know we're resonating more like spirit. And it's like that clarity that we talked about in the affirmators card yesterday. Um, the rind is all that mental chatter. And when, when it feels good, it's going to be like that sweet taste of the orange on the inside. That's the intuition, right? That's what we want to tap into. All right. We need to take that step forward today, guys. We need to be ready to take that journey. 14, 14, I just saw on the timer. Make that decision. This is what's crossing you today on the bottom. Not taking that leap of faith forward. Trusting spirit in this process, if you will, of going within and healing, right? Breaking those chains, whatever they may be today to whatever toxicity that you have in your heart. And I would say this is around love because we've got the two people here chained to the devil. And this is all about unchaining yourself from anything that's toxic, from anything that holds you back, from making that connection, whether it be in love. But first it has to be within yourself. 
So are you toxic? Have you broken your own chain so that you can make your own connection, right? In that balanced way. In the past, you definitely were very confused about something up in your head, not able to make decisions, very confused. This is that mental chatter. This is what we have to cut away. We don't want to always be, you know, like uh, swinging our swords at people because we think they're coming at us or something. It could be just us confused about some the way that we're seeing something. You know what I mean? Not walking away. This is in the mental space. So it makes me feel like that somebody is not wanting to walk away you know, from a connection perhaps that they realize is toxic or was toxic and taking that path ahead once again, not taking that leap forward. But hopefully this is you in this energy now where maybe this was crossing you, but in the future, this is what I see. And this is very good to see because this is going to help to clear any confusion you may have around anything in your life. When you connect with yourself, right? You're going to be able to clear out that confusion, take off the blindfold and see the path forward clearly. Can you see that? Absolutely. So this is going to bring that connection within yourself and a connection with, you know, somebody perhaps, if that's important to you as far as love goes. But if you're not honest with yourself, then you're never going to be able to have that clarity. And what the honesty means is you've got to take that step, that journey. You've got to go on that inner journey here and see what it is that you need to clear out so you can see clearly where you want to go moving forward. That is what this is all about. If you're resonating with this energy, hit the like button today. If you're ready to clear up all this, you know, fighting and bickering with people within yourself, all of it, right? You've got to get away from this. You've got to take that journey inward and see exactly what is your truth. Where, what is your path? Where are you meant to go? Clear up all of this confusion with this Two of Swords energy. But until you go within, you're not going to be able to clear this toxic energy. But I do see you wanting to do that with that being in reverse in the inner space, but it's still there. I feel like it still affects you, you know what I mean? And you know that you can't take this energy with you. But there's something that's hard for you to walk away from for some reason, and maybe it is just, you know, thinking about this person. Maybe you haven't even left this person yet. There's just been a, a lot of confusion about them, and you're not wanting to walk away, and you're really trying to decide if this person, you know, belongs in your future, you have to make that decision and you're going to have to pull back and see. You're really going to have to get still and allow yourself to see what's going on. You know, getting away from somebody that may be um, frustrating you or something like that right now. Yeah, it's going to feel good in the moment. Like it said, that bliss of getting away, that's how it feels at first. But then there's the separation anxiety. And why did you really separate to begin with? You have to remember, you know, why that is or, you know, if this was an indefinite separation type of thing or whatever. And really go within and see why that happened. And then allow all of that to be reformed in the way that it's meant to be because you've handled it in the right way. So coming out today is Surrender from the Guardian Angel Guidance card today. Beautiful cards here. So this is our Guardian Angel Guidance. It says Surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet and your place in it, right? I really feel that today. For all is part of humanity's evolution. So everything that we're experiencing, everything that, you know, people are in a sense causing you to experience through the experiences you're having with them. But I mean, you're making these choices. So we have to be clear when we're looking in our future, right? We have to be clear that we're all imperfect, right? And we're all trying our best. And sometimes we're going to fall short and try to forgive people and just move forward. They're just maybe not in the right place. And yes, it is sad sometimes, but that is what it is. All right. So it also says there is a 
divine order to all of the chaos which you perceive in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all that is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. Are you ready to change your way of thinking about your life today and understand that it is magical and that you can tap into that magic? Are you ready to tap into that magic? Please hit the like button if you're resonating with this energy and don't forget to subscribe. All right, lovers or, or sorry, romance angels. Yes, thank you. Ooh, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this is something, you know, that you feel very strongly with someone about, for sure. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with looking into things more, for sure, and seeing where they might be able to go. But just don't take things too fast. And I want to get one more card for this for some reason. I feel like somebody may be wanting to take things too fast. Yeah. Make sure that they're willing to also take the time to talk about things, you know, important things. That's definitely just as important as getting to the romantic things, right? But we have to be able to be, you know, balanced and feel good on all levels with each other is what I'll say with that. And especially with heart to heart conversations coming out today and the sarcophagus energy, the lovers. I mean, really, we really need to make sure that everything is clear today. And the only way we're going to do that is if we're honest with ourselves and honest with each other. Would you agree with me? Hit the like button if you do agree. And thank you so much for joining me for your messages today. Don't forget to check out your elemental messages, which of course do have individual sign readings in there for your specific sign. All right. You guys are amazing. I truly appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.